southbound trucker back at you. Currently in New Jersey. New Jersey. I was on the Bronx Expressway today. Traffic backed up three, four miles. Oh, God. It was something else. Um, got a little 240 mile load. Uh, drywall. You know, I'm drywall king. Drywall king. But that's not why I'm making this video today. Uh, Western Express, we famous. We finally made it. We finally made it, Western Express. Uh, Asian Maya Show. The Asian Maya Show. Mother Truckers. We made it. We made it to the show. Uh, they was on there talking about how, you know, the, uh, the, uh, Hallmark. They was on there talking about the Hallmark. I know they didn't name the Hallmark, but they was on there talking about the Hallmark Motel. Uh, you know how we didn't get paid when we was doing orientation and all that? We only got paid when we started doing the, uh, hands-on training. I think we got paid the one day we did the hands-on training, uh, for flatbed. And that was it. I think it was like 90 something dollars. Uh, and then we started getting paid when we was in the truck with the driver or the trainer you know um they didn't tell us that you know they told us when we were sitting at the house and we was on the phone with the uh recruiter we was like hey yeah I'm, I'm ready to go i'm ready to go and they're like yeah you're gonna get paid for training you're gonna make uh 650 a week for the first week and then you know after that then you're gonna make this amount of money and It wasn't like that at all. First, we got to make nothing. Uh, I made $95 first week. Second week, I don't even know what I made. I don't. I didn't even look at my checks. You know, it's just, thank God I had a little money put back because I knew something, you know, you always got to have money put back. And then they want to talk about, um, we ain't getting no loads. He's talking about we weren't getting no loads. Um, I'm getting loads. You know, I got plenty of loads. Me personally, I'm not trying to flaunt, but before I even drop, I got a load waiting. Um, I don't know about these other guys. Uh, they was talking about, you know, what else was he saying? He's talking about being a trainer. How after a month you could be a trainer. He's talking about how the trainers, some of the trainers, you know, it's like the blind leading the blind. The trainers ain't even been there but a month. Or, or you know, a couple weeks, six weeks. Um, He wanted to know if this is true. He wanted us to let him know, is this true? I put my channel on there in the comments. The only reason why I put my channel in the comments is because what I post is my experience. I'm not dogging out Western Express. I'm not saying nothing bad about Western Express. My channel is basically here for the guy that's thinking about coming to Western Express and you know, I got training videos I made. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's the best training videos in the world, but I'm trying to help people out, you know. Um, that's what my channel's for, is they're here to help Western Express drivers. If I can give you a hand, I'll give you a hand. If I, you know, if I can help you out anyway, if you need any information about your job, which is at Western Express, and you don't feel comfortable contacting anybody else, I'm here that's what my channel is for so I know my probably there's going to be a lot of people coming to my channel looking at looking at it um so I don't want nobody to get it twisted that I'm here dogging out Western Express because I'm not because why would you bite the hand that feeds you you got to think about that yeah I don't agree with some of the things I go through but that being said I don't know trucking. I don't know trucking. I'm not a trucker 
yet. And the reason why I say that, you're like Chad, uh, southbound. Uh, you drive a truck. Just because I drive a truck don't mean that I'm a, I'm a trucker. If I ain't been, ain't been right here, if I ain't been right here for a long period of time, going through the things that some of these guys have been through, uh, whether it be financial, whether it be uh, taking long trips, whether it be on the road for a long period of time, if I ain't been through all that, you know, for some years, it's going to take some years for me to figure out this thing. It ain't going to happen in a month. It ain't going to happen in a couple weeks. It ain't going to happen in two days. Yeah, it's basically getting in the truck, delivering your load, and then going and getting the next load. Yeah, that's all it basically is. I mean, it's like going to the grocery store and picking up some groceries. You know, taking them back home to the house, dropping them off. Let's... Or not drop them off, but, you know, deliver them to the house, to your family. That's basically, like, what it is. But, but, and I say but, I say it with emphasis that you're going to run into problems. Truck's going to break down. Uh, today, I went through a uh, way station. They was doing an inspections. I had to go use the bathroom. I parked guys walking around or the officers walking around looking at trucks i know my truck is I, i'm thinking this okay I go inside use the bathroom walk out they ain't never say nothing to me guy walks up to me he says hey man can i borrow you can i have a board i see your flatbed i said yeah sure no problem man he says man they just put me out of service wrote me seven tickets I said, man, that sucks. I hate it for you, bro. I said, here's your board. I said, I got to go. He said, all right, I appreciate it. I mean, you could be going and, and, and that's what I'm telling y'all drivers. That's what I, this is what I'm telling y'all. And I told my wife today. I told my wife today. She said, you know, she asked me, she said, how can, how can they do that to you? And I said, Mandy, I said, that truck you're driving, yeah, you may not own that truck, but you're responsible for that truck. Anything that's wrong with that truck, that falls on you. Anything. It falls on you to be an adult, to get it fixed, whether it be doing a breakdown or getting out there yourself and fixing it. Whatever it takes, you're going to have to fix it. Because I'm going to tell you what, you ain't going to get pulled over and you say, Oh, well, it ain't my truck. Um, It's a company truck. I don't think I should get the ticket. They're going to say, well, uh, is the company driving the truck? That's what I would say. If I was, is the comp where's the, uh, tell the company to get out the truck. You know, I mean, and this is your truck. We, we grown adults. We are grown adults. Do that pre-trip. I can't emphasize anymore. Do that pre-trip. Oh. Uh, with any company you go to, man. You know. Until you find that right company. You're going to have disagreements. Because it's already set. It's already set in stone that if you're not wanting to be there you're going to find everything wrong with that company you're going to find every reason why you should be not why you shouldn't be there yeah i mean you may not feel comfortable there you may not want to be there but if you're going to be there just let some things go let some things go and let's make the best out of it let's get this money so you know yeah they don't tell the truth sometimes people don't in general not saying western express i'm talking about people you know and a lot of times them uh recruiters ain't nothing but a salesman that's in any company you go to that's in any company you go to i've had i've now listen hear me out let me talk let me talk 
I've had I've had recruiters contact me from a good company. And when they contact me, you know what they talk about? How much money they gonna get off of me. They don't talk about how good the company is. They don't talk about I mean how happy I'm gonna be at the company, how many miles I'm gonna get, how good the loads are. Um they don't they don't talk about none of that. They talk about how much they gonna get and do I know anybody else that ain't what I'm trying to do with my life that ain't what I'm trying to do with my life so what I'm trying to tell you is you gonna get it everywhere you go you know just happened today Western Express got called out on it, it is what it is you know what two weeks from now you won't even remember that video so what I'm saying is Take what I say and just enjoy it. Stay safe, driver. Y'all have a good day. And uh, holler back at me if y'all need anything.